many ideas for art everywhere. The environment teems with hundreds of ever-changing images. We are trained to look and identify objects such as a hamburger, a taco, a hot dog. But to discover ideas for art, we must go beyond casual looking to close, careful seeing. Careful looking helps us find ideas for art. Selecting what to look for is a first step. We narrow our field of vision to look at a specific thing, such as a fish. A fish can be this. This. Or this. In fact, there are many variations of fish. This little round yellow spotted fish is selected. Its individual qualities are the basis for a unique drawing. As we learn to really look, we discover many variations even in a simple object, like a wheel. This large wheel is selected for a poster design. Timepieces we discover come in all shapes and sizes. This old-time alarm clock is the basis for a colorful design. Familiar objects need to be re-examined for ideas. Visual searching can be a real adventure. It nourishes our imaginative powers, which in turn activate ideas for art. The second step in learning to exercise the power of careful seeing is to concentrate on the visual qualities of an object. What is the shape of an object? Is it a geometric shape, such as a triangle, cone, Square, cube, or circle. Is it an organic shape, free flowing, irregular in shape? A cut in half artichoke is a shape full of many irregular variations. The shape can be painted and transferred by printing to paper. Color is everywhere. What is the color of an object? 
bright color attracts our attention. Color can also be light and soft, dull, cool, iridescent. The color we see can be matched in paint. What lines are on an object? Line varies in many ways, sometimes thick and thin. Textured. Fuzzy. Lumpy. Nervous. The straight overlapping lines of these pickup sticks is the beginning idea for a line drawing. What is the texture of an object? The surface may be rough, bumpy, shiny, peeling. The grainy texture of this old wood can be transferred to paper by rubbing crayon over the paper. Pattern is on an object. Pattern is the repeat of a single unit over and over again. Pattern may be planned and regular, or it may be random. The random pattern of these flowers is used for this paper cutout. When light illuminates objects, we see many variations of dark and light. The dark and light areas on this building are drawn into this sketch. So to discover the many visual qualities of this tree, we look closely at all its parts. It is made up of many soft colors. variety of organic shapes, thick and thin lines, smooth and bumpy textures, and 
changes in light and dark. By searching out objects and learning to look carefully at all parts of an object, we discover visual ideas that will enrich our art. Careful looking can also be the springboard for inventing new ideas in art. One way to create new ideas is to simplify what we see. These bird images result from using simple shape and few details. Purposeful change is a second way to create new ideas. We can change a basic apple in many ways. can flatten, create a patterned surface, surround with heavy outline or thin outline, emphasize subtle texture or bold texture, alter shape and color variation. At times we make dramatic changes from what we see. suggestion of the real image may remain. So, in discovering ideas for art, we first search out the many varieties of each object. Looking for a bird, we discover there are many kinds of birds. Second, we look carefully at the visual qualities of an object. And these particular visual elements are used in creating artwork. We use the outline shape. We use color. also use the things we see as a springboard for inventing new ideas. And so, by really looking, activating our imaginative powers, we can create exciting art from the world around us. <laughs>